اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم From today onwards, I'm starting a new series, Statistics for Research. Now the objectives. The series aims to help you understand and navigate statistical concepts and the main types of statistical analysis essential for research students. The aim is to first go over some of the basic concepts related to statistics and data analysis, followed by the implementation of the concepts using R and SPSS. Now throughout this series, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first discuss the theory of a particular statistical concept and then analyze that particular concept using either R or SPSS. So I'll have two videos. First, obviously, I'm going to focus on the theoretical concept and then analyze that concept using R and SPSS. So if somebody is interested in just R, they can watch that particular series. And if somebody is interested in SPSS, they can watch that particular session or series. Now, the first thing that we normally do is we explore our data. Now, again, it is very important to understand that you can watch this series in continuation of the last series, whereby I discussed in detail about research methodology. We last focused on that series with respect to how the data can be analyzed. Now, if someone has watched that series and now if they watch this series, the link will be shared in the description for that series as well. They can better understand how to analyze their data. Because in that last series, we focused on how to conduct your research theoretically explaining different concepts, including model development, contributions, literature writing, variables, questionnaire search, sampling. Now, assume you've got your data, you've collected your data. Now, what's next? Now, this series will help you with that as well. So, the first step is exploring your data. At the end of this session, you should be able to understand or answer the following questions. How would you define the concept of statistical data? What is a statistical variable? What are the main types of statistical variables? The term statistical data refers to the collection or sets of numerical information. Now, since we are focusing on statistics, obviously it has to be numbers. The information is located within cases or records for separate individual entities. We might have data based on years, let's say GDP per year, or we can have responses from different people. So each response is a different case that is attributed to a particular respondent. However, cases can occur at multiple levels as well. Therefore, within data sets, you can have cases for different people, groups, larger entities like organization or regions. Now, for example, if a researcher is analyzing population of health information, They could have data sets representing, now you can have separate data set that represent cases of individual people. You can have data set representing cases of information for medical emergency teams, or you can have data sets with cases for specific hospitals. Now they could even arrange all this data for a city and compare it with another city as well. Now what is a statistical variable? A statistical variable is a special type of mathematical variable. As with all mathematical variables, statistical variables represent a conceptual space in a larger set of concepts. Now that conceptual space may be an abstract concept like a personality trait, someone is an introvert or an extrovert. Now that is or that may be measured differently in different contexts. Or it could be a physical concept like height or weight that is visible. The fundamental properties of statistical variables are 1. They hold the measurement of a particular value for an individual case. And secondly, across all cases in the data set, a variable can possibly take one or more than one value. 
Now, if a measurement for a variable is limited to one value, now if a variable can only have one value and it does not change for a particular respondent or for, for a particular event, then it is a constant. It is not a variable. The value will change from person to person, from time to time, from place to place. And that is what makes a statistical variable variable because it changes. Now, variables can be used to organize observations about many different concepts related to people, objects, or groups. For example, variables can measure basic demographic information like gender. So, gender is a variable. Through to more complex and abstract information like attitudes or mental states like job commitment, turnover intention, or perception about the social responsibility of the organization. Now, there are a number of different types of variables. There could be categorical variables. Now, these are the variables for which each possible value represents a distinct category, like gender, like job rank, like education. Gender is a categorical variable. Type of driver's license is a categorical variable. You can have a provisional license, open license, or you can have no license at all. City of residence is another categorical variable. It could be Peshawar, London, Lahore, Manchester or New York. Now, in contrast to categorical variables, there are continuous variables and continuous variables will fall on the spectrum. For example, age or height are continuous variables. Similarly, weight is a continuous variable as well. In addition, although we are discussing categorical and continuous variables as separate types, there are responses to variables that are categorical but are best thought of as continuous. The most obvious of these are responses to a Likert scale. Now, these Likert scale responses are categorical but can be best thought of as continuous. For a Likert scale, a person can respond to a question like, how much do you enjoy statistics? The responses can range from greatly enjoy to greatly dislike. Now, these are categorical responses, but they can be thought of as continuous. And this obviously helps us use different techniques, statistical techniques to explain the variances in our dependent variable or to explain how a particular set of predictors affects the outcomes. In this case, each response has its own category. But in practice, it is most common to mathematically manipulate the measurements of Likert scale responses as continuous variable. So we thought of it as continuous variable. We use Likert scale responses as metric or numerical responses. Now, again, these are the references that are going to be used throughout this series. The two books are free and open access. You can easily download them and many other books from Pressbooks directly. The link will be shared in the description as well. Thank you very much.